What's going on everybody, it's Josh. Today I am going to bring you an unboxing video, kind of mystery box. Um, only reason why I title it the mystery box is because I have no idea what I purchased. Uh, if you guys follow Big Dub, um, or if you're part of the Pence Pack Facebook group, um, we share links to another Facebook page called The Brothers Krim. Um, it's two guys, uh, I think up in the Chicago area. Um, they are gym teachers. And on the side, they do like a live comic book auction sale, whatever you want to call it. Um, Friday nights, Saturday mornings, and Monday nights, I believe. Um, I'll leave a link to their Facebook page down in the description below. Um, but I joined, or I started joining their live streams about three weeks ago, the beginning of June. Um, and I got my first box from them. Um, so pretty much how they work is their shipping is pretty much like Big Bad Toy Store. Um, not by price, um, but more or less of, what do they call it, the pile of loot. Um, so pretty much when you join the sale, you just send them your PayPal info and they invoice you after every sale. Um, but the good thing about it is, is you can hold uh, off on them shipping as long as you want to. So I waited about, I think, about three weeks um, before I got my first box. So they ship in the, the flat rate priority boxes, which is nice because, I mean, you can get a lot of comics shipped for, you know, X amount of dollars. So, um, I decided I want to make a video for them. One, because I'm genuinely excited for what I bought, even though I, I really, I honestly don't remember. I remember what I bought last Friday, um, it was just, or no, last Saturday. It was just a couple things. Um, but the first two sales that I purchased from, I, I have zero idea about. So. Um, I wanted to help them out. Um, I, I mean, I'm assuming this helps them out. You know, it's kind of, you know, spreading the word. But um, not only am I helping them out by, you know, monetary wise, but I want to get more people in their streams. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, I got good stuff. I mean, I would assume I did. I know Big Dub, <laughs> he got me one comic that's in here. I forget what it is, but I know it's kind of a, a funny one. So we'll open it up and we'll see how it goes. Oh nice, I got figures in here. Let's go, I'll give these a Parker. So we got a Spidey figure right here, and then we got a Sandman, a little three and three quarter action. So these will definitely uh, be for Parker when he gets home. Um, so I did get a slab, I remember that. And then I believe these two are my piles of that was books, so let me get all this unwrapped and then um, once I'm ready, I'll start showing everything off before I actually cut this. Great job packaging. All right, let's get into this right now. Wait a minute, maybe? Yeah, wow, I got a lot of books. So, these have my name on them. The first one is this. Oh yeah, uh, the Marvel um, action figure variant of Hawkeye. I forget what I did. This was an auction. So every auction that you win, they give you like a little vintage card, like a trading card. This one is, ooh, nice. The NYCC, um, I think this is, the, is this the Emma Frost one? I honestly forget what, what the heck I bought. I know Perilla did the cover, but it's a nice virgin cover. Let's see. Hopefully I got that in there. This is, Two at 45, oof, yes, yeah, so this is a crane variant, isn't it? Yep. So Venom number two, I got the trade copy, and then I got the virgin copy. So I guess I got these for $45. Man, these look incredible. I have a couple crane, crane covers somewhere. These look good. And then, nice, I don't, I don't even remember this. I feel like I, I don't, I don't know. Here's a black cat cover. I have no idea what the issue is on this. Um, I don't remember buying this. I, obviously I did, cause I remember this cover being up there, but I'm a big uh, Virgin cover fan. I like the, the trade covers, um, but if I can snag a nice uh, Virgin cover, especially if the art's insane. This is the Lee and Hulk Edge of Universe variant cover. I think there's an, another variant cover where unmasked, but these covers are gorgeous. 
Holy smokes. I'm excited about comics again. You guys can't tell. I'm thinking about taking my bookshelves. Bookshelf? What what kind of accent is that? My bookshelves down um, and putting all my slabs on the wall and then maybe just getting like some like waist high shelves for figures and statues and whatnot. Oh, forgot about this one. That's right here. Here's a J. Scott Campbell, Amazing Spider-Man 23, a Gwen Stacy cover. Very awesome. And then this one. Oh my God, this is, <laughs> that's what Big Dub got me, good Lord. Uh, this is what Big Dub snagged for me. This is Amazing Spider-Man 43. I believe this is the first full appearance of Mary Jane, right here. He actually secured this for me the day before my birthday. Nice. I think he said it was like maybe like a 5.0 grade. I don't know, so I think someone's outside. I don't know, that was weird. And then <laughs> Big Dub got me this, the Bikini Assassins team. One shot is all they need. It says, gift. Gift to me. That's it, and then Let's just open the second one now. And then I'll, I'll open the slab last because I think I remember what that was. It's not it's not a very like important issue. This um Well, it's weird. It didn't say my na name on the outside. It says someone else's name. But then on the inside it says my name. So I don't know. We'll see if this is my stuff or not. Yes, this is my stuff. So the first one is a connecting cover. I believe this was, I don't know if this was an NYCC Comic Con exclusive or if this was just normal, but Spider-Man, I think 801 and Venom, number one, yeah. I cannot see the camera, so hopefully that's connecting well enough. Um, but these are just incredible, look at that Red Goblin. And then the big boy Venom right there. She's I have a lot of comics all of a sudden. And this is Amazing Spider-Man number eight. Signed. Signed by people. Nick Spencer, Ryan, someone. And, well, here. This is who it's signed by. There's no COA. Um, but I think I, I think I got it for like 20 bucks. It's a cool uh, battle cover. Aren't these what they call like the battle lines cover? I don't know. Once again, cool virgin cover, Green Goblin. And we got some signatures on it. I could send it in the CBCS. I think that's what it is. Because um, they, they verify things. What is this? Oh, nice. The Adam Hughes. Virgin cover, Gwen Stacy. So if you can't tell already, um, I really enjoy like the Gwen Stacy, Mary Jane covers, um, specifically because I have their first appearances. And to be honest, a lot of their covers are on the more affordable side. When you start getting into like Venom and Carnage and Spider-Man, like the really badass covers, um, I feel like those get stupid expensive. So I'm kind of slowly trickling in. I also got a cool uh, key issue. I don't even know if it's a key issue, um, but I got a slabbed, uh, Spider-Man Wedding, uh, I think, yeah, off of Macari. I don't know where it's at. I need to check the tracking. So it's kind of going to be cool to have, because I want to start getting some of the um, the minor keys for like Peter and, and Mary Jane's first kiss. Um, and then I think there's a couple of other ones where she denies, she says no to him or wedding or something. I don't know. But I'd like to get those just to kind of build the love story because I think it's awesome. Uh, Renew Your Vows, Comic Exposure. Variant issue number three. This is pretty sick. The wedding, like the venomized wedding dress. I got this for $19. That is awesome. And this, what the heck is this? Hmm. Venomized, venomized number one, I think. Is that what they said? Yeah. I don't know who the artist is on this. I know they said it during the stream. Um, This was a auction and I got a Robert Muldoon card. That's awesome. 
Oh, nice. Haha. <laughs> this is me a happy birthday. Let's go. So I got two Star Wars comics. This one. Oh, Spider-Man first. I'll show you the card. Spider-Man vs. Hobgoblin. But this is uh, Journey to the Force Awakens, Shattered Empire number one. Um, once again, I, I don't unfortunately know who the artist is, um, but the cover is awesome. You got Luke looking over, and you got Vader's helmet coming out of the fire, which I think is sick. I like that a lot. Then the last, oh, not the last, but this was uh, the gift from the guys, so the brothers. It's uh, Star Wars Jabba the Hutt, <laughs> The Dynasty Trap. Looks like he's at the bottom of the Sarlacc. Probably not the Sarlacc pit. Not the Sarlacc pit. I didn't mean that. The Rancor pit. Pretty cool cover. Never seen this one before. Yeah, it said Eric's oh, Eric Hart's name on the outside. So I'm glad it was the right one because that would have been a bummer. Now for the last is a slab. Oh, here we go. I love the shameless plug. Brothers Krim sticker, vinyl sticker, I think. The reach is real. That's sure I won't put that right there on my monitor for now. Um, but this is uh, Amazing Spider-Man 291. It's a 9.6. And it's a Al Ali Stars. It's, I don't know. I cannot pronounce that name. But it's just an appearance. I think this was only like 50, 55 maybe. I don't remember. 60 bucks. Um, but I like the the cover because it has symbiote suit, black suit Spidey on it. Um, and then on the back it has a Dungeons and Dragons ad, which I think is super cool. So this will go once again, as you guys may be noticing, um, a lot of the slabs and stuff that I buy, 99% um, of the time, it's just because it's a good deal. Um, I think I got a fair deal on all of these, some of them. I looked up, um, I paid about market price for. Uh, but at the end of the day, when I join these guys' live streams, it's not really about securing a deal on every, on every single purchase. It's more or less supporting them. Because um, from what Big Dub has told me, they do a lot of good things with like charity. They'll do charity streams. Um, and it's just two guys having fun. They, they drink some beers um, and live stream for hours and hours and hours and put up cool comics. And I've actually learned quite a bit about comics while watching their streams. Plus they have a nice little community built into it. So if you guys do join the live streams, like I said, Friday night, Saturday morning, and Monday night, um, feel free. I'll probably be in the chat most of the time. Um, say hello, say what's up to the guys, let them know that uh, you heard about them through this video. It does not do anything for me. Um, I don't get any free anything. I don't get any credit, nothing. Um, but what it does do is it lets them know that other people out there are promoting them, which I think would make them feel great. Um, I know when people watch my videos off of others um, and they say, hey, I heard you from so-and-so's video, I think it's cool. Or if I was on a podcast and someone came and watched my videos because of that, it makes me feel good because when you can get word of mouth references, I think it's one of the best, especially in this day and age. Um, and like I said, it's kind of like free, but I mean, I want to do it because they run a great show. Um, they're very fair on the prices and they're, they're cool dudes. So I greatly appreciate them. Um, but that's it. Now I get to go through all these and stare at the covers a little bit more um, and try to find some room for them because all I have is a short box. I don't, I don't have a long box anymore. Um, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Uh, let's see, when will this video go up? Today is Thursday. I might have this up Friday, so maybe join the live stream tomorrow, which is Saturday night for me here on the channel. I don't know. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Leave a like if you're new. Subs wait. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And then I'll see you guys in the live stream. Um, but once again, shout out to the Brothers Krim. Their link will be down in the description below. But I love you guys. Thanks for the support. I'll see you in the next one. And as always... May the things be with you.